All right, so what's up, Quad Squad? Today, we're doing a little installation video and upgrade to the Bamboo P1P or any of the Bamboos. I needed, a, I needed a hardened steel nozzle so I could start printing with like PETG carbon fiber and nylon carbon fiber, um, and of which um, I was buying some nylon carbon fiber and then I saw the, the faded conch hot end on sale also. I bought one of the kits off of AliExpress. I wasn't sure how well it was gonna work. You know, it came with some hardened steel, some brass, and all that, all separate pieces. And then I was like, you know, in the two years that I've had my P1P, I've not changed one nozzle. How bad do I really need like to be able to like switch the nozzle by unscrewing it? So I was like, you know, Fetus is a good company, makes good materials. And realistically, it wasn't that expensive. So I pulled the trigger on it and I'm gonna show you how to install it because there wasn't any installation videos out there other than a written diagram by Fetus. Um, so with that, let's get into it. It's a good hot end. I've been using it for a while. No problems. I didn't need to replace the, the, the gears for the extruder to, to push through nylon or PET carbon fiber. Um, but we'll see in time if that affects anything in the future. But right now, good hot end, reliable, hasn't clogged. Let's get it, show you how to install it. Let's go. This, so first off, you gotta take the fan off of this. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Alright, so now we don't need that on it anymore. This is out. Yep. Yeah. Seems like you need that metal clip, which is a pain in the ass. So, you need to use that grease, and then you've got your thermistor and heater thing. Alright, so I slightly mistaken, so you still have to use the clip. Right. So, first off, we gotta put the thermal paste onto the end of the nozzle. And then, and then uh, right. Yep. I think the wire. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. It's the easiest to get on. Remember I said clips facing down? I kept on saying, repeating myself. I put it the wrong way. Okay, so clip facing, facing downwards. Down. Yeah. Now this on there. Yeah. My fingers are all greased up. And that's how it's done, boys and girls. Mm -hmm. All right, and then you can slide. Now you can screw the fan on. Just okay. So do it a little lower just to show the camera after you figure it So with the wire facing up, right? Yeah. Along with this? Yeah, but I think the fan goes the other way. So rotate the fan, so I think that part goes towards the hot end. Yeah. Like that? I think so. I don't know now. Yeah, I don't think we saw the label when we were doing it before. Good thing one of us was paying attention. <laughs> Rubber in? 
Yeah, then we have to put the rubber on it. And then we have the finished product. And let's see how it goes. That's some like weird specifications on like lining up the nozzle and the heat brake, but I think it comes pretty aligned. And I tried to make sure that it's tight and everything, so it's all hooked up, good to go. We're gonna install it in the printer and see how she runs. It goes underneath. Oh, thank you. No problem. <laughs> yeah, then it would have never lined up that way. Okay. Good thing you're here, and a good thing. <laughs> Screw it in. Yeah, and then plug in the thermistor cord and the fan cord and stuff. Do you remember which one's going which? Yep. I do. Alexa, turn off P1P. Okay. So one and two are in, okay? Okay. And lastly is the cover head. Alexa, turn on P1P. Okay. All right, and then when you start everything up, you want to make sure that the mister is working, which it seems that it is. And then... You can put the face plate. Okay. Bingo. All right, and then once you finish, you're gonna go into these three that. You're gonna go nozzle, change it to hardened steel. You're gonna go zero point four. You're going to go calibration, calibration, you're going to check all of those, you're going to press start, and it's going to start doing its calibration, which I've already started. It's going to do bed, vibration, everything. I also um, realigned the belts, loosened them up, moving it around, tightened it back up, so it's going to do that calibration as well. And then you've got a conch, Vetus, hot end. Hopefully. All right.